Nothing cures my spring fever like Metroid Other M. Metroid Other M is an Easter game. Now before I begin convincing you that Other M is the perfect bun bun day game, I'll address the chocolate elephant in the room. Religion is a sensitive topic. This video essay compares and dissects the events of Easter Sunday to Metroid Other M. I have no intention of mocking religion or pushing religious beliefs. I personally subscribe to atheism, but I'm open-minded and I respect each person's beliefs. And with that in mind, how is a space opera related to the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Everyone is so blinded by the thought of Other M being a Mother's Day game that people don't even entertain the idea of it possibly being an Easter game. I feel like it's pretty obvious. The ending even sounds like something straight out of the Bible. In that moment, I swore not to grieve his death. And for the first time, I gave him a thumbs up. Just in case he was watching over me. That's Samus 2910 found in the New New Testament featuring Funky Mode. Hey dude. But really, how does it connect? Simple, through Jesus. Other M portrays Jesus in a very unique way. We barely see the Jesus character in Other M. They aren't present, much like Jesus isn't the days before his resurrection. Who portrays Jesus in this passion play? The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. Babies. Baby. Babies. Yes, the baby. The baby touched someone and cured them. The baby turned water into wine. The baby hosted the Last Supper. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Metroid Other M is an Easter game. How is the baby Jesus Christ? Let's dissect this seemingly outlandish comparison. The death of Jesus Christ, the passion of the Christ, the crucifixion. As most know, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. This horrific event marks the beginning of Easter weekend. This is suspiciously similar to the intro of Other M, where shown the death of the baby mere seconds into the game. This loss kickstarts Other M as a whole. How? Well, for starters, it's the sole reason why Samus is still alive and it raises the government's suspicions, leading them to begin cloning. And it's why Samus begins monologuing. I awoke Stop. to the familiar Stop. voice of a Stop. quarantine Stop. officer. Stop! I know what you're thinking. Because the baby dies in Super Metroid, it must mean that Super Metroid is an Easter game. But no, Super Metroid is not an Easter game. That's ridiculous. That's like saying Metroid Prime isn't a Christmas game. Super Metroid is a catalyst for Other M, but that doesn't change its identity. Imagine people disliking Super Metroid because people hated Other M. Imagine people hating Other M! <laughs> uh, fuck. Metroid Other M is an Easter game. What even happens between the crucifixion and the resurrection? How come no one ever talks about this? Did everyone just live life as normal, even though their god just died? Did anyone rise up against the Roman Empire? Did people go clubbing? I'm just gonna call this the tutorial area for the game called Life, Living Without Jesus. And with that, it can relate to Other M's tutorial. Okay, that's a stretch, but come on! The main event of Easter is Jesus' resurrection, his return from the dead. The baby doesn't ever technically come back to life. The baby is dead. Not like Jesus dead. Ridley dead, or even Palpatine dead. I am the Senate. They are dead dead. In the final moments of Super Metroid, they passed all their energy to Samus. Samus became the second coming of Baby Christ. In Other M, the baby lives on through Samus, similarly how Jesus lives on through those who believe in him. Samus is a representation of those who believe in him, which is why they gave her a voice so players can relate to her better, because she represents them. He was joking, but others weren't. You know how I said earlier that I'm subscribed to atheism? Well, I lied to all of you. I personally believe in the Lord and Savior themselves, the baby.
Metroid Other M is an Easter game. Sure, the baby lives on in Samus much like Jesus lives on in his believers' hearts. That's evidence enough, isn't it? No, not even close. We have a conspiracy on our hands. There's one big factor we haven't talked about that's present in Other M. <coughs> Italy. The big purple dragon daddy plays a key part in this Easter analogy. Ridley is none other than the one and only Judas Iscariot. Yes, the disciple who betrayed Jesus. Of course, Samus and Ridley have a very rough past, to say the least, but other M. Ridley is different. When Samus and him first meet, he's in the larval stage, and he's hecking adorable! Seriously though, why didn't they make a plushie out of this thing? When I'm lonely, I want to hold him through the night! Samus didn't hurt the defenseless baby Ridley because she didn't know it was him. If she did, she would have been like, Ridley? She trusted him, just like Jesus trusted Judas. Of course, just like Judas, he betrayed Samus by turning into her nightmare and attempting to murder her and her friend Anthony. Ridley? Judas wasn't the only nemesis of Jesus in the story of Easter. No, there was the Roman Empire. More specifically, Pontius Pilate the man responsible for sentencing Jesus to death, essentially his murderer. Judas and Pontius are no different than Ridley and Mother Brain. Mother Brain was the monster who murdered the baby, and with stories commonly taking inspiration from the Bible back in the early days of interactive storytelling, I wouldn't be surprised if back in 1986 she was based on Pontius. Now, the events seem out of order because Judas betraying Jesus happened before the crucifixion, and the quote-unquote crucifixion of the baby happened before Other M even began. This is where we get to the root of all evil. In Other M, who is the real villain? Ridley for nearly murdering Anthony? No. Mother Brain for making space pirates go berserk? No. Who sparked the flame that caused these antagonists to lash out? the Galactic Federation. It was the Galactic Federation that caused every little issue in Other M. This is why Federation Force did poorly, because they're monsters. In case you aren't aware, the Galactic Federation took cells off of Samus' armor and recreated a habitat that mocked Zebus because they wanted to breed Metroids. They clearly knew how much of an all-powerful being the baby was. They wanted to harness the divine power of the Lord. Was it really power that drove the Federation to do this? If they wanted the power of the child of God, they would only need the DNA of the baby, nothing else. But instead, they made Mother Brain, Ridley, and all the space pirates. So we have to be whoa and think why a government-run corporation would want more than just the baby. They wanted to recreate Easter. And why? Money. That's right. They wanted to make a new holiday. The Federation understood the parallels of the baby and Jesus' crucifixion. They wanted new history to celebrate, and they wanted to profit from it. Every year, corporations make millions of dollars off of Easter. They are profiting from someone's death. Disgusting. The other M, and by giving the game attention, we are falling into the societal norm of selling our souls to the government by using screens, our phones, tablets, televisions, and computers. The government is tracking you and watching you right now. We must go off the grid before they make Federation Force 2 and use that to suck our souls dry, and our society will no longer be able to independently think for themselves, and we will be just bodies, controlled by the government. Okay, so I may have gone a little overboard, but can't you see this game is about Easter? On the surface, it's not there, but if you dig enough, the resemblance exists. There's only one thing you should really take away from this, and that's Easter's true meaning. The birth of a new life. This doesn't necessarily mean the birth of a child, it can be the birth of a new you. You don't have to be religious to understand and follow this. As you go through life, much like the world, you will change. You will awaken a new person, a better person. Embrace change. Challenge yourself. 
Become the person you never thought you could be. Try new things, even if it's just food, activities, or even games. Go outside your comfort zone. With change, you may find something you never thought you'd admire. If Samus never challenged herself, she wouldn't have lived through all her missions. She wouldn't be the icon she is today. In Other M, she accepted change. She struggled through the change. She was limited in her arsenal through her entire mission, and she lost her father figure, Adam. But she pushed through. She made it through the toughest part. Be like Samus. Accept and adapt. Otherwise, the things you could love will never be discovered. Metroid Other M is an Easter game. So, who's the Easter Bunny in Other M? Cook -a -doo -doo.